Hey guys, it's Lam here again, your tech guide. And today's video, we are gonna be checking out some accessories for your Samsung Galaxy Watch 3. So as you can see here, Mobile Fun has sent out this box for us to check out. I think there's a couple of straps and tempered screen protector for the Watch 3. We're gonna check them out right now. So Mobile Fun, they are located in United Kingdom. And uh, if you wanna go check them out, that is their site right there. All right, so here we go. Okay, so I noticed there's two straps. We've got a silicone sporty strap right here. And the other one is the stainless steel chain strap, which we're gonna give it a try. And also I've got two tempered glass screen protector for the 45 millimeter and the 41. Okay, so if you guys check out on Amazon, you will not find any tempered glass of, of, as of right now. Um, I saw a couple of them. They will be shipping within next month or two months. So if you guys are interested in the tempered glass, you definitely want to check out uh, Mobile Fun. They have it available as of right now. So here we go. We're going to probably, I don't know, I'm going to probably do a two video on this or I'll try to fit them all in in one video. So let's go straight to the strap first so that we could um, get going here. As you can see, there's my watch three. And right now I'm actually doing a battery test on this just to see how much battery life you could get out of it. Um, currently I am on 66% right now. So I started the watch, I activated it at 12 o'clock in the morning. And right now the time is almost it is 12.45, so, and it is 66%. If you want to see the final outcome of the battery life, go subscribe, uh, subscribe to my channel, and more likely this video should be out within a couple of days. And also, I will be doing a charging test on that. I will put it all, um, all at once in, the, in one video so that you can really see the battery life of the 41 millimeter Watch 3. All right, so let's go with the sporty look first and see what it looks like all right so this is the black color which i really like for some reason the the active two uh, strap it's got that uh, bluish aqua color to it i don't really like it i prefer completely black okay let me just remove this out of the way This is my favorite setup here, the stainless steel silver on the Watch 3. And let's pop this in. Okay, there you go. So that is your sporty look with the silicone rubber um, strap. And it might look like it's on the extra large strap. Oh, it's not too bad. Okay. Because I think there's options that you could get the large and uh, small size strap. And it seems this one is the medium. Okay, let me just fit it in there. And there you go. So that's what it looks like if you got the silicone strap. So it makes the watch look more sportier than when you had it with the stainless steel silver. So as, as, you, as you can see, the screen display isn't that bright. Um, I dimmed it all the way down to three. I think that is the appropriate uh, viewing uh, brightness for me. And of course, if you wanna jack it up all the way up, your battery life will drain much faster. Okay, so there you go. Let's move on to the next strap. Okay. All right, so the one that they sent out to me is actually for the 
45 millimeter okay so yeah i should have double checked so this thing will not fit guys because the size of it is 22 millimeter for the 45 millimeter watch three and for the 41 millimeter it takes the 20 millimeter so that it's too bad that i won't able to try this but of course i still do have my 20 millimeter stainless steel chain from the active 2 which i will be trying that on my other videos uh, upcoming videos so that's too bad we can't do that with this one here and we'll just put this put this on the side and we will try the tempered glass screen protector okay so this is what you get inside the box and it looks like you might only get one tempered glass inside so you there's no mistake on make sure you don't make any mistake on that first try because you only have one try to do it and usually when it comes to tempered glass and bubble if you saw my other previous video you really have to um, lift the tempered glass against to get rid of the bubble so it might be a challenging to do but you gotta do what you gotta do to um, get a perfect seal without having those bubbles all right so you've got this alcohol wipe so you just make sure you wipe the screen get rid of those debris and dust okay and also on my upcoming video i just received my my be bezel rinky bezel styling um, for the watch three so i will be making that video and showcase it to you guys so you guys could really see what it looks like we will be converting this vessel to silver because that's the only vessel that is available from rinky for the watch three and we're gonna see how it looks like when the watch is completely silver without a black accent on the vessel okay so you also get the stickers here and i should have checked the video prior to installing this but that's okay it's pretty common basic installation it's not the wet installation method so this is just a straight up dry apply it and you should go, go um, be good to go so there's the tempered glass as you can see from there all you have to do is just peel this back and you just install it okay and let me see if we have collected some dust here let me just get my blower Okay, so it looks pretty good. No dust. All right, I think we are good. So if you do notice some dust, just use the sticker. Okay, just spill that off. And just double check if there's any dust on the... So this should be pretty simple to install. I think I'm doing it the wrong way, guys. Oh, there you go. Oh, hold on. So I do notice that this tempered glass it's not actually touching the screen. It's more of... Okay. Okay, it seems bigger than what the screen. As you can see, it is still on the edge of that bezel 
that is um, inside the screen it's not actually planted on the screen display which is kind of weird i'm gonna double check again the size of this guys it says here this is the 41 millimeter as you can see right there but it seems a little bit too big on the screen display you see that you see that it's not actually flush on the screen display Oh my. Okay, so the sizing is uh, not the right size, guys. It's too big. Okay, so this is a fail. I'm gonna open the other one, guys, just to see. So this is the 45 millimeter. Of course, more likely this is gonna be much bigger. But when it comes to sizing, it looks like it is the wrong size that they gave us here let me just check it out quickly see the size here so this is quite disappointing so far guys oh look at that so it is so much bigger and definitely that will not fit okay so this is the size I guess that they uh, have given us, but it will not fit guys because of the inside bezel that goes curving to the screen display is where it is um, being planted, not on the actual screen display. So of course, the temper glass will not stick properly because there's not enough surface to have it stick on. As you can see from there. Oh man. Oh boy. See, there's no way of sticking this. All right, so that was an epic fail, guys. Um, wow. All right, so I guess if you see this brand of tempered glass, just be aware not to um, purchase it I guess since the cutting of the screen display is not even accurate and um, I don't know what else to say I was hoping for the best that I could uh, actually recommend this accessories for you guys but it looks like it was just uh, an epic fail here um, let me see what else I can do here for you guys see there's no way of having this tempered glass stick on the screen display just no way okay let me try to see how tough and strong this tempered glass since i'm not gonna be using it anyway i'm gonna try to fold it oh wow it is solid guys it is solid it's just too bad that the size wasn't properly cut but it is solid look at that oh my oh wow there you go crack so it would have been a perfect screen protector for your watch 3 but it's just the wrong size guys so anyways that's pretty much it um i will definitely put a link on the silicone case but other than that guys it's up to you if you want to take the risk of checking out the tempered glass screen protector I'll, I'll probably just put the link who knows if you guys want to give that a chance and hopefully the company will actually see this and give us the proper size for it so once again guys thank you for watching my video until then i'll see you guys on the next one peace